Okay, so Ubuntu has been fixed. Uh, the 64-bit version uh, of 19.10, uh, well, there's a 19.10.1 now, uh, has been fixed, and it works perfectly well on the Raspberry Pi 4. So I thought I'd try a different install, as I've covered lots of other Ubuntus before. If I click on the cog here, you'll see that I've got Mate and Ordinary Ubuntu. So if I click on Mate, Ubuntu Mate, uh, and I know it's not called that, I know there's a different pronunciation, but for the purpose of this video, I'm going to call it mate, because I know I'll just keep reverting back to it. Now, there's also an issue with this with, uh, with sound. Um, so my TV, I mean, it might be peculiar to my TV, but my TV doesn't output the sound from this version. Uh, so what I've done is plugged in my 99p sound card, which I've got a video on, and I'll put a link to that. Uh, and if you want to learn how to install this, so basically you follow my Ubuntu video uh, up until 1 minute and 52 and then instead of putting in what it says on the screen you need to be putting in sudo apt install ubuntu-mate-desktop and then be patient because the install takes a long time but eventually you'll end up with something like this. So let's have a look at it and uh, see what we've got. So you can see Firefox is at the top there. Uh, if I click on the menu uh, and if I flick through, you can see everything pops up as you hover over it. So under accessories, we've got calculator, I don't know what plank is, Pluma, Redshift, take screenshot, which is handy. Uh, I don't know what Vim is either, edit text files. Uh, oh, that's nice that you can actually hover over it and it also tells you what, it, what each thing does as well. And it's nice and responsive. So administration, education, no items found, graphics. Document Scanner, Eye of Mate Image Viewer, Make Color Selection, Shot Well, Organize Your Photos, Internet, What's Transmission, Download and Share Files, Oh, a bit torrent. Uh, and then Office, so we've got a Document Viewer, which I guess is like a PDF, uh, a Dictionary and a lots of uh, LibreOffice, Preferences, Additional drivers, appearance, Bluetooth adapters, Bluetooth manager, keyboard, we can click to go down here, mouse, mate, tweak, I'll go and have a look at that in a minute. Uh, so sound and video, watch cheese, take photos and videos with your webcam, front end, rhythm box, system tools, Whoa. terminals there, log viewer, Universal Access, Screen Reader, Screen Reader. Provide access to graphical desktop environments via synthesized speech. Oh, interesting. Control Center. Oh, is this different? Very Windowsy. Right, so administration, hardware, internet, network, look and feel, personal. Oh, I see, it's just changing these little sub-menus, preferred applications, onboard settings. So if I go into Mate Tweak, uh, and then, so what we've got, Show Desktop Icons, uh, yeah, I'll have Computer Enabled, I'll have Trash Enabled, and Network Servers. Hit the panel. What's Cupertino? Is that going to be an Apple thing? Changing that will completely replace and reset the current configuration. Let's give that a go. Oh, what was it on? Just to, Oh, it was on familiar. Right, so Cupertino, hit OK. And I've got a little, little noise, although it doesn't look that. Oh, yeah, nice. So I've got the dock. So like a Mac style dock. I like that. I th I, I just prefer having the dock down here uh, to rather than going up to the top. Um, so it's nice that you can change that around. Contemporary, doesn't take long to change, so let's have a look. Okay, doesn't look too different to the familiar one. Mutiny. Oh, that's, yeah, that's different. This is quite nice though. That's your launcher, and then you've got some useful apps. Yeah, quite like that one. Uh, where was it? Panel, Mutiny, Netbook. 
What would netbook be? We've got little little icons coming along the top. It's funny because it's because it's the same green background. They all look very similar, but obviously they are they are changing quite a few little bits to it. Well, that's got a dock down the bottom as well. I did. I I prefer the dock down the bottom, and especially if it's going to be easy to put things in it, I think that's quite a nice way of doing things. Uh, where was I? So, oh, under control center, wasn't it? Control center. Yeah, I quite like the layout of this. Uh, so, and it's it feels pretty fast. It doesn't doesn't feel like it's uh, slugging along. So, Redmond would be. Windows, isn't it? Redmond. Yeah. <laughs> this is cool. I'm quite impressed with all this. Uh, what have we got down there? Oh, these are my drives. I quite like to have my drives shown. Uh, that's quite nice. Uh, and I have some icons down the bottom. Uh, and also open apps as well. Although I've got Make Tweak open several times, it looks like. Yeah, I have. But it doesn't seem to be slowing it down. Let's just close down this other one. Uh, so let's go. What else was there? Traditional. What does traditional look like? Windows Seven. Mm, pretty similar. Oh yeah, but all this has changed. So I'm going to go back to Cupertino because I think I quite like that one because I like the dock. What happens on this? Oh, well that's different. That's like a universal, oh I don't know if I like that. Let's close that down. Ah, so we, desktop, files, documents, music, pictures. Yeah, not sure if I like that bit. And this bit doing that. Oh, I see. Yeah, it looks like the, um, the the Mac when you do the scrunch on the mouse pad it does does that same sort of thing. Well, that's not bad. Because I I would anything I use more frequently I would put down in the dock anyway. But uh, but yeah, I quite like that. It'd be better if it stayed on all rather than well because I haven't put anything in favourites. So ordinarily, obviously, you'd click on that and favourites would come up with several things that you've added to favourites. Right, so let's do a bit of a web search. Um, oh, also, I was going to show uh, how it deals with network drives. So now, oh no, if I go to this one, double click, I've opened two. Uh, and then I go to, oh, is this going to be different? Browse network. No, this is different actually. Oh, there you go. Uh, WD My Cloud is there, which which is my NAS drive. I usually do this as a test because I want to see how easy it makes it to grab a NAS drive and and have a look. So you can see there um, that actually uh, it has no no struggles with that. I don't know what it's like if I was to play a file, but then this is coming from a NAS drive. Uh, so let's go. Let's not go too ambitious and let's go for a 1080. I won't play too much of it for copyright reasons. And you can hear the sound coming through. Yeah, that's playing all right. Yeah, happy with that. That's as far as I'm going to go with that one. So that's playing directly from my network drive, uh, which is nice to see. So let's go up to the top and, yeah, I need to, need to sort that really. Uh, oh, actually, I don't need to go to the top, do I? Because... I have Firefox down the bottom here. What else have I got? Uh, oh, there's, so show desktop. What is playing? Oh, that's to do with the dock, the settings of the dock. So you can change the sizes. Oh, yeah. Uh, flag monitor on primary display. Position bottom, top, right, left. Theme Ubuntu May. Transparent. Well, I didn't change it too much. So let's leave it on that anyway. Yeah, happy with that. Right, so, and oh, and was this, so if this is files, 
yeah, that's how I could have done it. And then browse network, and then when it when network drive is there, that's good. Ubuntu. Uh, if I go to my thirty two gig my retro pi card that's in there, and you can see my various files and ROMs and things like that all come up. Yeah, definitely like that. Firefox. There we go. Oh, we've got the same uh, Ubuntu Mate logo there. So let's try doing some search. I usually do BBC. I usually do Hot UK Deals and YouTube. So BBC Home. Seems to scroll nicely with the trackpad. What's Boris been doing now? Let's click on that and then Hot UK Deals. Open that up. It's a testament to the pie that loads of these operating systems are really decent on a, on a web browser. There, there isn't, you know, well, I, I've overclocked to 2 gigahertz, uh, which I always do for my videos, and you'll find um, information on that in some of my other videos. Um, but, uh, but yeah, that I think that's. Um, Smoother scrolling than some of the other systems, which is nice to see. Some of the others have been a bit jerky when I do that, uh, and so I've got three tabs open now. Uh, if I go to YouTube, and I'll get something with a bit of movement because there's always the tearing issue, which is worth checking out when you when you're looking at uh, what operating system to use. So I'm going to one of my uh, favourite YouTubers. I'm going to put his on because there's always good movement in there. So let's just click on that and see if we still get the tearing issue. Let's go straight to, oh, I can't because it's an advert. So if I just turn that volume down a bit, uh, if I then go to, let's get a 1080 because we know that 1080 works now because I had it working with uh, the LG WebOS, uh, not LG, but WebOS as an operating system runs 1080-60. Well, there you go, it's frozen. So let's click into the video a bit because I was messing about with other things. Oh, there you go. So 1080 is definitely a no. Uh, let's drop it down. Scrubbing works all right, that. Uh, if I then, I'm just going to turn off the volume completely. Uh, I'm getting distracted. Then I'll drop down to 720. Yeah, it's not a good full screen. This this is something that um, I I think is quite a priority because obviously a lot of people watch YouTube. Uh, it's a big platform, and just the fact that it doesn't stream uh, smoothly is is an issue. But it's everything is the same apart from WebOS. I didn't find anything that could stream at 1080, and WebOS isn't really a replacement operating system because there's loads of stuff that it doesn't do, but you could have it on a separate card if you if you just wanted to do a mammoth session of uh, YouTube browsing. Uh, you, you know, if you want to see that at 1080 uh, and not have all the uh, rest of the operating system, that's fair enough. So let's close that down. Uh, still not sure if I prefer this um, layout that I've selected. I know I've changed it. I think I'm going to go back into Control Panel which is under, no, if I go to, oh, we're probably under system settings. Yeah, but I do like all this layout. Um, it, it's, a very, it's a very logical system. Uh, you know, it's my first time to use this, and I haven't found that I've struggled with anything. Uh, so let's get a panel. What is the windows? Oh, no, let's not color that. Uh, so what was the other one? One of them was... Not familiar. Mutiny. Was it Pantheon? Which also had that dock. Yeah, this might be better for me. So I've still got the dock, but up here I've got that more traditional style, uh, which I, th I think I prefer. Um, it's, it's like anything, you, you tend to get used to anything that you try. Uh, but uh, but yeah, so Ubuntu Mate or other tr other uh, pronunciations are available, uh, but I'm going to stick with Ubuntu Mate. And uh, thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.